he had to stand in front of a bunch of people. Okay, team, I have a question for you that's not on here. This is kind of like a bonus question. Why do you all think we were talking about Miguel presenting based on what we did? Jocelyn, what do you think? I think we're going, I think we're talking about Miguel presenting because um, we're going to be presenting our posters and Okay, because when you first present, it can be a little scary at first, but your crowd's listening to you, they respect you, and you're going to do great, all right? So, team, can I have somebody read me the objective loud and proud? Let's get Daniela with the objective, please. In order to be an active leader of the community, you will... Can I pause you one second? Teammates, you should all be reading along so that you know what the objective is. Eyes on your paper. Three, two, <laughs> four, one. Sorry, Danielle, try again. Civic. Okay. Silently point to the people who are our community. Who is the community in this space? You are. Okay. Silently point to who you think is the civic leader in this community. Got two thumbs, and he looks like this guy. No. By the way, by the way, a civic leader is someone who really shows their community what they're supposed to be doing. So, although that right now I'm the civic leader in this space, by the end of this year, there's no reason we couldn't have 20 different civic leaders in this space. That's my goal. That's why we're here. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Graham. Good to see you. Um, can I have who wants to read me the CFS? Who's this? Who's this? Kevin, CFS, let's go. Loud and proud. Today you will be successful if by the end of the lesson you have clearly present presented. presented your flyer to the community and the civic leader. Civic leader and have rated our group of of their flyers. Other groups on the flyers. Awesome, and I just wanted to shout out, I think I saw Daniela sending some shine. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so here's the deal, my friends. When we are presenting, one group will be up front, they'll be presenting. We are all going to be listening to them speak. Can everybody flip to the next page in the roadmap? Yes, sir. Show me when you got it. Okay. Thank you, Demba. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Genesis. Thank you, Giselle. Thank you, Jameer. Get to the next page, but you got it. Thank you. Like this. Okay. So, team. Go. Flip it over there, Dylan. So, team. There are five criteria that we are grading these different teams on. The criteria are on the left side in gray. Can somebody tell me what is one criteria that we are grading on? Jocelyn, what's one? One is um, needs expectations. Oh, that's actually the different numbers that they can score. At the very top, you see their scores, oh, yeah. one through four. On the left side, what are the different criteria? One is layout and Illustration. Oh, oh, just give me one. So you got layout? <laughs> layout is just, does it look nice? Okay, is it neat? All those things. Kevin, what is another criteria? Uh, grammar. Grammar. Um, and that just means, are you writing complete sentences? Are you capitalizing names? Anthony, what's another criteria? Content. Content. Is your information accurate? If we're talking about Day of the Dead, is it about Day of the Dead or is it about purple puppies? Should be about Day of the Dead. What is another criteria? Elias? Directions. Directions. It means people follow directions when they were doing their poster. The poster has important information on it. Last but not least, we've got directions, layout, illustration, content. There's one more. Who's got it? Dylan, last one. Uh, total points? Oh, not quite. That's oh. that, that's the total points you can get. It starts with a G. It starts, uh... Did we get them all? No. Oh, we did. My bad. Yeah, so we got directions, layout, illustration, grammar, and then content. Okay. One second, last. I see you. Okay, so... 
Team, when we present, a couple things that I need from you, and I'm going to tell you what the incentive is for really great audience members. Okay? First of all, we show respect by listening and by tracking. Okay? So I'm always tracking the speaker to show that I'm really paying attention to them. Because you're also going to have an opportunity to speak, and you want them to track you. If you wanted an exemplar of tracking and listening, it would be Daniela. Hands are crossed. What? Tracking the speaker. No notes. Um, we show interest by asking important questions when it's the question and answer time. And we show gratitude for the work of others by clapping, snapping, and also sending shine and fake it stuff. Okay? Um, really quick, there was something that I forgot that I meant to tell you. Will I remember? Oh, when you get up to present, a couple like, little quick tips. Okay? First off, if I'm speaking, number one, you guys should see the poster. It shouldn't be facing away from me. Okay? You can't present a poster like this. Number two, posters should not be in front of my face. Should be about here so that you can see my face and hear my voice. Number three, posters should not be down here. Okay? Teammates need to be able to see it. Now, if Kaylin is presenting and I'm presenting together, if I'm holding it, Kaylin's going to want to be on one side or the other of me. She does not want to be standing in front of the poster because, again, you want to see it. Okay? Does that make sense? <laughs> Questions? Yeah. Yes? Michelle, question? When we do the print, uh, when we do the print, then, what, what, when we do it, if somebody gives you a three and you don't do it the first time, uh, would you remind me? What do you mean a three? Like, like volume? Yeah, volume. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell them to you loud and proud for sure. Oh, last thing, when you come up, please introduce yourself to the team. I know we mostly know each other, but please say, hi, my name is, before you start, okay? Okay, so, ooh, by the way, here's the incentive. When you are filling out the names of the group members who are speaking, if you can fill out their names in less than 20 seconds, I'm giving you a Ghana for focus, because that should not take us very long. I want to make sure that we have their names down. So then we know who we are grading. If you're going to do it in 20 seconds or less, it's worth one Ghana for focus. That's four Ghana's total. Brandon, how much time do you have to write their names down? 40. How many? 40. Not 40 seconds. 20. Who can tell them? <laughs> who can tell them? Daniela? 20 seconds. 20 seconds, so you gotta be quick. First group up, group up. Get your pencils out. Get your pencils out. First group up is gonna be Demba, Jameer, Alex. Anthony and Brandon. So teammates, everybody else, you are, whoa. <laughs> you are writing their names at the top. Ready, set, go. You got 20 seconds. Names at the top.
then you're going to say questions and comments. Audience, we're going to raise our hands to make comments or ask questions. Engineer, why don't you call him? Yes, um, todo el dinero para la comida va hacia eh, 
en ocho grados para su viaje, viaje a Washington, D.C. La crisis de 30 fue de noviembre, noviembre primero 2018, día de la muerte. Before we clap, we take questions and answers. We clap at the end. Comments or questions or, yeah. Oh, oh two. Oh, I don't have two schools. Oh, um, it was just a Last night we